Hi everyone, this is Shruti Kanu and welcome back to my channel Shruti Vars. I hope you all are doing good. So today I'm here to discuss a full proof seven month plan to crack IIT and biotechnology. I'm going to share what type of planning I did during my IIT jam preparation. Though I started in August and I had six months, but I'll share my game plan for seven months for you all. So let's get started with month wise. First month is July. In July month, in biology, we must focus on molecular biology and genetics. We must finish at least two units in this July month. And for the chemistry part, I would suggest you guys to at least complete general organic chemistry and stereochemistry and at least chart the reaction mechanism of organic chemistry. That is, finish the major chunk of organic chemistry, which is the most important topic of chemistry. Next, if we go to maths, for maths, I would suggest you guys to complete probability and statistics in the first month itself. And if we jump on to physics, I would suggest to first complete ray optics and wave optics as those two are the instrumental parts which are very important and scoring parts in physics. So, so next month is August. In August, uh, I will suggest you guys to complete biochemistry, ecology and evolution units for biology. For chemistry, I would suggest to complete the remaining part of reaction mechanism or organic chemistry. Everything should be done. Then you can complete organic spectroscopy and structure of atom periodic table like this chapters you can do it but not chemical bonding. Save it for the next month because it will be too hectic for you guys. Next it will be physics. In physics I would suggest to do the thermal properties of matter, kinetic theory of gases, thermodynamics properly in this August. After that if we move on to maths, in maths specifically we should focus on limits integration and differentiation but in september i would suggest you guys to focus in biology for cell biology and microbiology as these are also some important topics to be covered next in chemistry you can focus on chemical bonding and thermodynamics and equilibrium this should be completed if we move on to maths you should complete uh, sets relation and functions and any prior topic left from the previous month should also be completed along with 3D geometry should be done. Like the geometry part, the straight line and everything should be done. All the equations part like the equation of circle, equation of a parabola, eclipse, hyperbola, this should be done. Next, if we move on to physics, you should complete Newton's laws of motion and kinetics in this month. In the month of October, in biology, we should focus on plant biology and biotechnology units as the questions are sometimes tricky from biotechnology unit. So do it very thoroughly and you can include some topics from methods as well. If we move on to chemistry, we should finish chemical kinetics and all of our leftover topics from the previous month and then move on to physical and chemical properties of a compound that is basically the ionic equilibrium part and the solubility type of topics. Next. If we uh, talk about physics, we should complete uh, electrostatics and current electricity in that uh, particular month. And then if we talk about mathematics, we should do the leftover topics, whatever left from that, if you feel you can do it or if, if your previous month topic is not completed, please try to complete that in, math, in this October. Please don't stress a lot. This month of November, we should focus on animal biology and immunology which is included in animal biology itself and complete the whatever rest part left from methods which are techniques. Next, if I talk about chemistry, all leftover topics like kinetic theory of gases, if chemistry part is left, thermodynamics from chemistry, all this should be done. Ionic equilibrium over this if you are done that's very fine if you are left with some other topics please complete it in November itself for chemistry we should do all the topics next if I talk about uh, physics in physics we are left with rotation mechanics work energy power kinetic theory of gases these type of small small chapters please try to complete it in this month along with magnetism if you want to do it or you can skip magnetism but you should at least be aware of some formulas so for that I can share my formula book with you guys in the telegram group. If we talk about mathematics, we will do the leftover topics which is sequence and series, complex numbers, logarithms, all of the basic units we should 
like it's not the basic which is not there in the uh, question paper very much we'll do it at the end so these are the leftover topics which we should focus on november month next is december so december should be that buffer month in which you will be completing all leftover topics from biology physics chemistry and maths so in biology if you are left with any topics please complete in december along with revision question practice and tests for chemistry physics and maths as well all leftover topics to be done if you are not able to complete some topics leave them don't do them uh, like the least important ones you should avoid in december month and do revision and question practice and test this is the key and the to january month we should always focus on revision no new topics to be read and continuous tests continuous repeated revisions and question solving will help you to crack this exam i hope you like it if you want any other things do comment down below thank you so much for watching bye, -bye.